Well, for the, the pilots on the team, it's about 10 years of fighter experience before you can apply for the team. And I, for one, have never really been one for the rules. Good place to store anything that you may be taking with you in the flight. So we call the guy. That's right. I have a jet guy I can call. <laughs> it goes pretty fast. And while the Thunderbirds weren't really looking to sign me up as a pilot, they did set me up for a ride in one of the military's most impressive birds. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We got about three hours of flight preparation before we get to go actually take off. Do you think we could do it in about 30 seconds though? Because we're not sure we quite have that much time. Yeah, let's see what we can do. All right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. Patches, zippers, and helmets. Check. And then the seat is going to rocket out. out. It's going to shoot you up out of the aircraft away from the danger area. Parachute training. Learning how to breathe. Now relax. And finally getting the green light from the dock. Am I, am I ready to go? Am I fit to fly? You're fit to fly. You're medically cleared. All right, let's do it. And just like that, with each step, what Major Tyler Ellison, call sign Wolf, pilot of Thunderbird 7 and I were about to do started to sink in. The G suit was on and I was strapped in and ready to go. Flight crews on the ground made their final checks and within minutes, the runway was ours. It was only a matter of seconds to realize the speed and power of the F-16. Before I knew it, we were in a vertical climb at a rate of 30,000 feet per minute, immediately followed by flying inverted and barrel rolls. All the jaw-dropping maneuvers that fans see during a Thunderbird's performance. So every maneuver that they see is what we were able to go up and demonstrate today, from uh, knife edges to 8.4 point, uh, max turns, uh, just the, the whole gamut of maneuvers. Along with demonstrating how nimble the aircraft can be, Wolf wanted to show off its power. By pushing this multi-role fighter and the two of us to the limit during a 9G turn. A move so powerful that it feels like your skin is being ripped from your body as you become one with the metal chair you're sitting in. Now well, this F-16 is uh, designed for the air show and the fact that it's completely stripped clean and it is a very uh, nimble and maneuverable aircraft. So it makes it a lot of fun and very sporty to fly. Once the tricks were complete, Wolf and I decided to do a little sightseeing. Something that Major Ellison, after spending a couple of years stationed at Elmendorf flying F-22s, still can't get enough of. Alaska is unique. There's no place else like it on the, on the earth. Um, just with the terrain, uh, the, the amount of airspace, the real estate that we have up here to operate and to employ is uh, bar none the, the best in the world. After taking a spin around Denali, it was only a short flight back to base, touching down, bringing an end to a flight that I will never forget.